name of the house is the S. It uh, means simply the hearth. Its symbolic meaning of hearth obviously is that it's home, it's where you come back to and so forth. We started building the house in 1964. <laughs> we had very, very little money at the time. I just started a practice. So that's why we built ourselves. It took us a few years and we, we didn't have the bedrooms up, up above yet. And uh, the building inspector was very easy on us anyway because it was totally illegal, but we moved in. <laughs> I've never consciously tried to work in a Cape vernacular, but um, the work is probably very much Cape uh, in terms of substantial heavy walls, white colour which was traditional. If you look at it from below you see the shape of the roof relates very directly to the surrounding landscape. It's totally different but it's very akin to our Cape Dutch gables actually if you were to <laughs> look at it from that point of view. So I think subconsciously it's, it's a Cape house. The obvious symbol here is that enormous chimney. <laughs> it's, uh, I started doing the working drawings and then the chimney shrunk a lot. And then, then I started putting a scale to it. And uh, that emboldened me to a certain extent then to, to make the chimney twice as big as it should be and so forth. Yes, I had to build the chimney myself because I couldn't risk putting anybody onto this very precarious scaffold that I'd read. We had to do most of the work ourselves and in order to do it more effectively we sold one of our two old cars and we bought a concrete mixer with that money and I was the one who tipped the concrete mixer. Uh, the eldest son put in the stone, the next daughter put in the sand, the next one the water and uh, the last one, the cement. Uh, my son was 12 and the youngest uh, daughter was six. All the fittings were made by Harvey, all designed very carefully and made by him. If you see the cracks and, and the flaws in the timber, it expresses the fact that it's a piece of timber and not a piece of veneer. We made the front door out of copper hot water cylinders to Gwen and myself, it feels very comfortable because you associate yourself with what you've done. I think it's got a different feel to, to us, certainly, if, if you know that you yourself actually shaped that thing. You're using a word that I, I wouldn't have known about 10 years ago, materiality, but it seems to be a very fashionable <laughs> word now. For our particular climate, it's a Mediterranean climate in the Cape, uh, I like mass. So it's, it's heavy walls, uh, heavy slab, and, and that is purposely to add thermal mass to the building. Well, the important thing for me is that I see the sea. We've been 50 years in the house now. I haven't felt the desire to change anything. 